Once again, a great and pleasant evening to all our esteemed guests, faculty, parents and our remarkable students. As we all gather here today, adorned with enthusiasm and anticipation, it is with immense pleasure and pride that I, Madhvi Lata, along with my colleagues, Ms. Vidyalata and Ms. Tulsi, extend a heartfelt welcome on behalf of the entire team of Delhi International School Kumpali to our annual school concert 2023. Welcome dear parents. This event is more than just a spectacle. It's a reflection of the spirit, dedication and creativity that define our school. This annual school concert isn't merely a showcase of talent. It's a celebration of unity and togetherness. It's an opportunity for us to come together as a community to applaud not just the achievements, but also the efforts and dedication that have made this evening possible. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to ignite the spirit of knowledge and enlightenment. In a symbolic gesture, we gather to illuminate the lamp of wisdom, signifying the pursuit of excellence. Each flicker represents the collective brilliance of our students, teachers, parents, and esteemed guests. May I now request our guest of honor, Jyoti Ma'am, Shilpa Ma'am, Upendra Ravi Sir, our Academic Director Shailaja Aburi Ma'am and Principal Sai Satyaki Ma'am to please light the lamp and invoke the Goddess of Knowledge. Our teachers Miss Rita, Miss Priti, Miss Grace will escort the dignitaries onto the stage. I request everyone to kindly stand for the lighting of the lamp. Jyoti, Shristi, Tu. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, one and all. We request everyone to kindly be seated. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and critically. To accomplish this goal, Delhi International School Kompali was established in the year 2018 with the mission to engage, enlighten, and empower students by providing them with extraordinary, enriching learning experiences under the aegis of an eminent educationist and visionary, late Sri Madhusudan Rao, sir. Sir, we miss you today. Your vision molded us, shaping our values and inspirations. You instilled not just knowledge, but a hunger for innovation. We pledge to carry your legacy, weaving compassion into every endeavor we pursue. As we gather here tonight, Amidst the joy and excitement of our annual school concert, it's a momentous occasion to reflect on the incredible journey of our school throughout the year. We are happy to announce the arrival of our director, Swati Pampalkar, ma'am, director of Delhi International School, Kompali. Welcome, ma'am. We are delighted to have Swati, ma'am, among us today. It's a delightful honor to invite our esteemed guests to grace the occasion with their presence. TSPS, St. Anne's Group of Institutions, welcome ma'am and please accept a small token of appreciation from us. Jyoti ma'am is a visionary leader who strategizes long-term goals and ensures adherence to educational standards and fosters a culture of innovation, inclusivity, and growth, nurturing a dynamic ecosystem for students and staff. Her unwavering dedication to governance, policy adherence, and decisive leadership has been instrumental in our school's continued success. Thank you, ma'am, for gracing the occasion. We take immense pleasure to announce the arrival of our chief guest, escorted by our school president Vaishnavi, head girl Divya Varshini, head boy Bhuvan, and sports captain Sean Vincent. A warm welcome to our chief guest, Mr. Maxwell Trevor, national cycling champion, Recipient of President of India Award. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir, for gracing the occasion and being here. We extend a heartfelt welcome to our chief guest, guest of honor, our dignitaries, our academic director, Shailaja Buri ma'am, principal Satyaki ma'am, on behalf of the entire family of Delhi International School, Kumpali. We begin this special moment by welcoming our chief guest, Mr. Maxwell Trevor. We welcome you, sir. Sir, kindly accept a small token of appreciation from us. Mr. Maxwell Trevor was the national cycling champion for 10 consecutive years from 1980 to 1990 and still holds the record for being the only national cycling champion for 10 consecutive years. 
During this period, he created four national records in the senior level and five national records in the junior level. He represented India in many Asian and World Championships, which include the 1982 and 1986 Asian Games. He was also awarded the title of India's Speed King and the fastest man on wheels. The other awards received by him are the President of India Award, the Railway Minister's Award, the Chief Minister of AP Award, and the Chief Minister of Telangana Award. Mr. Maxwell had also taken up the positions as Government Observer for the Ministry of Sports and the Sports Authority of India, National Selector for the Cycling Federation of India, General Secretary AP Cycling Association, Coach for the Indian Cycling Team. Presently, he is the President of Maxwell Trevor Cycling Welfare Association. Thank you, sir, and welcome, sir, to our annual school concert. We extend our warmest welcome to Shilpa Ravi, ma'am, chairperson, Delhi School of Excellence. Shilpa, ma'am, is an exemplary leader, guiding us with vision and dedication. With a wealth of experience and a passion for education, she champions innovation and academic excellence. Her leadership fosters a dynamic learning environment, providing holistic development and student empowerment. Welcome, ma'am. Please accept a small token of appreciation from us. Thank you for joining us today. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Swati Pampalkar, ma'am, director, Delhi International School, Kompali. Our director, Swati Ma'am, stands as the guiding force behind our school's journey, embodying the essence of visionary leadership with an extensive background in education and a passion for nurturing young minds. She profiles our institution towards excellence. Her strategic vision extends beyond academics fostering an inclusive and innovative environment where every student finds a unique path to success. Thank you, ma'am, for accepting our small token of appreciation and witnessing today. We also welcome Upendra Ravi, sir, the general manager. His commitment to efficiency, coupled with his attention to detail in maintaining the school standards of excellence, makes him an integral part of our institution's success. He ensures that the administrative machinery runs seamlessly, allowing the focus to remain on providing quality education and support to our students and faculty. Thank you, sir, for being with us today. Now I would like to welcome our academic director, Shailaja Aburi Ma'am, who is the epitome of educational excellence and leadership, also referred as a walking encyclopedia. Shaila Ma'am, you are our role model and a great mentor who leads by example. Thank you, Ma'am, for always being with us, inspiring us, challenging us to think beyond boundaries and guiding us in providing meaningful learning experiences for our students. Ma'am, kindly please accept a small token of appreciation. A warm welcome to our principal, Sai Sartiki, Ma'am. Our principal, Ma'am, champions a culture of inclusivity where diversity is celebrated and every student feels valued and supported. She collaborates closely with us, the teachers, parents and students, ensuring a cohesive and nurturing learning environment. Welcome, Ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to ignite the spirit of knowledge and enlightenment. Tonight's festivities are about to reach an electrifying crescendo. But before we unveil our grand performances, let us take the blessings of Lord Ganesha, seeking his guidance to navigate hurdles and embrace success. The stage transforms into a sanctified space where art becomes an offering and the reverberations of dance echo prayers of his divine presence to bless our celebration, ensuring harmony and triumph on this special day. 
We now invite our talented students to showcase their unity in diversity through a spectacular jugal bandi, a fusion of Kuchipudi, Kathak, and Mohini Atam. With each step, let's celebrate the symphony of cultures, the fusion of styles, and the spirit of togetherness. Welcome, dear children. <laughs> Smarami Mahagana Padu Manasa Smarami Mahagana Padu Manasa Smarami Mahagana Padu Manasa Smarami Pasishta Baba Deva Devandi the Mahagana Padu Manasa Smarami Pasishta Baba Deva Devandi the Mahagana
spot on a big round of applause for them that was a mesmerizing performance definitely lord ganesha will shower his blessings on us today we now invite our academic director shailaja aburi ma'am to share a few words on this auspicious occasion yes can we have a big round of applause for the invocation dancers good evening namaste ladies and gentlemen it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you to our school concert 2324 on behalf of the management staff and students of delhi international school i would like to extend a very warm welcome to honorable chief guest mr maxwell trevor our guest of honor beloved jyoti ma'am mrs shilpa mrs swati mrs upendra ravi principal directors dignitaries parents students and guests who are present here today we are delighted to have you here to partake in our celebrations our annual school concert is not just a celebration of our achievements but it is an opportunity to reflect upon the journey that has brought us here our principal mrs satyaki will soon present the school annual report but first and foremost i would like to pay tribute to our founder chairman late 
Shri P. Madhusudan Rao Garu, who was a beacon of inspiration, visionary extraordinaire, and the driving force behind the establishment of this institution. On behalf of the entire school community, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to our founder chairman. Sir, I know your blessing is from above. We assure you that your legacy will live on through the achievement of our students, the dedication of our teachers, and yes, the impact we make as an institution. I would also like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the parents who have entrusted us with the education and well-being of their children. Dear parents, your unwavering support and belief in our institution have been instrumental in our success. We would like to assure you that we have exciting plans and initiatives in store for you uh, in this upcoming academic year 24-25. We will continue to invest in cutting edge technology and innovative teaching methods to ensure that our students receive a world-class education. I would like to add here that our focus is, was, and will continue to foster a culture of inclusivity and diversity where every student feels valued and supported. To our dedicated and talented staff members, whom we very fondly call the Awakeners, I extend my deepest appreciation for their tireless, ceaseless efforts and commitment to excellence, which is evident in the achievements of our students, both inside and outside the classrooms. Dear teachers, your passion for teaching and your ability to inspire is what sets us apart as an institution. Delhi International School is now six years old, and over the years, it has been a melting pot of strong academics, both scholastic and co-scholastic, and ever ready to welcome new ideologies and uh, influences. We at DIS strongly believe the essence of education is comprised in sharing responsibility between children, teachers, and parents that helps to support the child's general well-being and provides a basis for success. Every parent has a dream for their child's bright future while sending them to school. Parenthood is indeed fascinating, not to mention challenging. You live through excitement, joy, guilt, worry, hope, concern in very quick succession. Each child is unique with his own set of highly individualistic traits and behavior patterns, and what works for one need not work for the other, be it siblings or twins. Each is so radically different. There are no set rules, guidelines for parenting. One has to follow and evolve, adopt and adapt practices that work. In fact, a friend of mine the other day gave me a book which is called The Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother by Amy Chua. It's a definite read for all parents. It's an awe-inspiring, often hilarious, but unerringly honest story of one mother's exercise in extreme parenting, revealing the rewards and costs of raising children. We are, we are all like that Chinese mother. We want the best for our children, and we will spare no effort to make it possible. I did read a parent's prayer somewhere, which was so heartwarming and tugged at my heartstrings that I would like to share it with you. It's called the parent's prayer. It goes like this. Dear God, help me give my children the best, not of trappings or toys, but of myself, cherishing them on good days and bad, theirs and mine. Teach me to accept them for who they are, not for what they do. To listen to what they say, if only they will listen to me. To encourage their goals, not mine. And please let me laugh with them and be silly. Let me give them a home where respect is the cornerstone, integrity the foundation, and there's enough happiness to raise the roof. 
See that I discipline my children without demeaning them. Demand good manners without forgetting my own. And let them know they have limitless love no matter what they do. See that my expectations are high but not overwhelming. Help me teach them that excellence is work's real reward, not the glory it brings. And above all, ground these children well so that I can dare let them go. And may they be so blessed. Such a profound, profound poem, isn't it? Children thrive and blossom in a loving, caring environment which will bring out their true potential and their very talents that you will soon witness as the cultural program unfurls. As is tradition at DIS, the annual school concert ensures participation of all its students. This year, the school concert is in two parts. Part one is called Enchanted, very aptly titled, Making Magic Happen. And it is showcased from kindergarten to grade two, uh, while the students of three and above will transport you, no, actually teleport you into the realms of time. The theme being Time Travelers, a rendezvous with time. We hope you will enjoy the concert as much as we did putting it on. The children and teachers have worked so hard to showcase it for you. So we would appreciate it greatly if you could sit through the entire program and encourage the students. So ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves to be challenged, excited, and inspired. Thank you. May I now request the principal, Mr. Satyaki, to present the annual report, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shaila ma'am. Well, parents, annual day is a celebration to look back on achievements and milestones. The annual report is a testimonial of the wonderful support and guidance with which we, the team DIS, have been able to conduct the day-to-day -day activities of running the school. I, Sai Satyaki, principal of DIS, feel privileged to stand in front of this August gathering and present the concise report of all the important activities and achievements of this prestigious institution. Distinguished guest, distinguished chief guest, Mr. Maxwell Trevor, respected chairperson, Mrs. Jyoti Ma'am, directors of the school, Swati Ma'am, Shilpa Ma'am, our pillars of support, Mr. Upendra Ravi Sir and Shailaja Aburi Ma'am, dear colleagues, parents, and of course, my lovely little children. As we travel down the memory lane to summarize our achievements, over the past one and a half years, I would like to express my tribute to our beloved founder chairperson, chairman, Sir Shri P. Madhusudan Garu, for laying the initial seed and setting the path of the school. Now, under the able guidance of our chairperson, ma'am, and with the day to day mentoring of Ms. Swati, ma'am, the school today proudly stands tall as one of the best schools in this part of the city. The academic year. 22-23 was the real year of revam and most of our time as you all know of course time and energy was spent in bringing back children to school after the long spell of the dreaded pandemic which has affected the education field to the maximum level even though it was a tough year with the support and guidance of our dedicated and determined team of teachers, our students have done stupendously well and they have achieved great success in their CBSE grade 10 examinations. The exemplary performance of all our students has set a benchmark for the upcoming years and they are taken as the trailblazers and trendsetters. They are here today, most of them are here today. Dear parents, we could just give them a round of applause to encourage them. And dear stalwarts of grade 10, this is the point which is setting a target for you. The year of 22-23 was hectic, both for teachers and students alike. But we tried our best to balance academic and co-curricular activities to 
the best possible level. I came one. The inter-school sports fest was conducted with great pride and even though it was the first inter-school sporting event hosted by DIS, it has since then become a yardstick event to measure success, discipline and clockwork precision. The annual school picnics to Hidden Castle and Thrill City along with regular educational trips to various places like nurseries, factories and places of worship help the children enhance their knowledge base through experiential learning and mostly it brought about the team spirit and sense of responsibility in children in the most joyous manner. The interdisciplinary subject enrichment activity display by students of all grades have showcased the talent and acquired knowledge in the most precise manner. The new academic session of 23-24, which started in March 23, the year till now has been a year of great achievements, loads of funful activities, academic excellence, all sandwiched together into our curriculum. The tiny tots of DIS Kindergarten have been celebrating various special days, festivals, color days, monsoon activity, fruit days, etc. in school along with all the other major festivals with their senior lot. They have been going on short crisp outings to get hands-on experience and learn from practical observations. Teachers at various levels have been attending workshops and seminars which aid in enhancing their teaching skills and give them the required exposure and interaction with the teaching fraternity outside. As an institution, we have always followed the guidelines and curriculum as envisaged in the NEP. Inclusion of co-curricular activities in school curriculum has always been the policy FDIS. This academic year, as a part of integrating academics and CCA, we have earmarked special time slots within the timetable of each class for these co-curricular activities. Also, hobby classes have been revived and children have got the opportunity to choose one hobby per term, depending on their area of interest. Skating and Taekwondo. These two are two special outdoor sporting activities in which every student of DIS is trained right from the foundation grade. When I say foundation, it means PP2 parents. The training imparted to our children is of such high standards that many of them have excelled in various inter-school competitions at different levels too. Other sports and games like football, basketball, cricket, throwball have of course been the all-time favorites of our students. Not only sporting, but areas of performing and visual arts like music, dance and art are some of the sectors where students of DIS have showcased their talents and received awards and accolades for their performance not just within the school but in inter-school competitions as well. We have a long list of students who've earned laurels for themselves and for the school as well in all the areas of co-curricular activities. As you all are already aware, the new block for primary classes was added to our school building in the last academic year. And this year, with the untiring efforts of our ABLE director, Ms. Swati Ma'am, the new wing for the senior school got functional in the second floor too. Dear parents, at this point, we, we are very thankful for the constant support and patronage of each one of you, without which we could have not crossed the milestone of touching about 600 in strength. We now have three sections in each of the primary classes up to grade two and two sections up to the middle school level. Thank you so much, parents, for your constant support. Fast track classes, a concept devised by DIS to help us achieve our motto. And you all know what our motto is. Every child matters, every moment counts. This program of Fast Track has been ex excessively successful in helping children enhance academic levels and bring all students of a class to the same level of excellence. We assure you that 
this program will be revived this year too and in a much better and more refined manner. Students of DIS have always shown exemplary performance not just in inter-school competitions locally but in the Olympiad test as well. Be it English, general knowledge, science, maths or even social st studies, children have prove their metal not only at school level but at the zonal and national level in the stage 2 too. We are privileged to host the level 2 of SOF Olympiads of the zone for this year too. At DIS, we ensure language proficiency not just in English but also in Hindi, Telugu and French as well. Shrutlek Sarvashrest, Padam Vignana Shobita. Matris and Francais are the regular language and spelling proficiency badges issued to children along with the regular English spell B Prince and Princess badges every month. The verbal communication skills of our children in all the four languages are evident and will be presented to all of you very shortly in the cultural events. The academic year 23-24 has been uh, a very exciting year filled with loads of learning experience for all our children. In pursuit of our commitment to experiential learning and holistic development of every child, we had our first outstation excursion trip to Maharashtra in the month of October. This five day long trip for a team of nearly 50 students was a stupendous success. It has resulted in the children having lifetime memories and has helped them experience new horizons independently. The, the trip was filled with learning, adventure and of course loads and loads of fun. The investiture ceremonies which were held in the month of July have vested the young budding leaders with sense of responsibility and pride. For the first time this year, dear parents, we have introduced the Junior Prefectorial Council and both the student councils, senior and junior, were elected by the complete democratic process of electronic voting, thereby making the future citizens of the world's largest democracy get a feel of the complete process. In a nutshell, the year 2324 uh, has been a wonderful year till date filled with loads of activities, events and trips for students and great sporting fests like ICIM 2. We can say that students of DIS are future ready. Under the able guidance of our ever supportive management members, academic director and pillars of strength, Shailaja Ma'am and Upendra Ravi sir, the complete team DIS assures you all parents the best care and education for your children. We stand tall on our motto. I repeat, every student matters, every moment counts. With this commitment, I thank all the parents and invitees present here for their patient ear and time. And I once again extend my heartfelt thanks to the management, the complete academic and administrative team and staff of DIS who have been the driving force for running this wonderful institution with such pre precision. Hope you will all enjoy the program put up by our kids today and thank you for all your time. Thank you, parents. Shaila, ma'am. And thank you, principal, ma'am, for the annual report. It's an absolute honor to extend a heartfelt invitation to our distinguished chief guest, Mr. Maxwell Trevor, to share a few words on this auspicious day. Distinguished dignitaries of the Delhi International School, parents, teachers, staff, students, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to be among you today. And the reason why it gives me immense pleasure is because I know I'm standing before a group of students who are going to be very successful students who's going to be the future of our nation 
I am sure I can see some IES officers, some future IPS officers, some great politicians, sports personalities, scientists, and they're all sitting just in the front of me. And you, you students, are the future of a great nation. I'm here to share with you today the secrets of success. How many, I'm not sure how many students are here or if there are students here, but how many students want to be successful in life? I'm very sure everyone wants to be successful in life. And I'm here to tell you today that not one of us are on this planet just to add some weight to planet Earth. Not one of us are on this planet just to occupy some space. If we are here, we are here because we have a great potential on the inside of us. We have a great potential to be successful in life. We have a great seed of potential that is on the inside of us. Now we have a choice to take the seed and put it on the shelf. And if you do that, it's never going to germinate. It's going to remain that seed with all the potential in it. It's going to sit on that shelf for the rest of its life. The other choice you have is to work with that seed of potential. Sow it in good soil. And it's just a matter of time before you see that seed grow into a big tree and that tree becoming fr fruitful in life. You are blessed to be planted in a great school like Delhi International School. I consider Delhi International School one of the best schools, not only in Hyderabad, not only the state of Telangana, but I consider Delhi International School one of the best schools in the nation, one of the best schools in India. They don't only focus on quality education, they focus on overall development. They focus on making you a greater person. They focus on making you a successful person in life. And with this seed of potential, you have the ability to achieve anything in life. But the secret is to have a positive mind. I always say this. You can never have negative thoughts and expect positive results. Negative thoughts will attract negative results. Positive thoughts will attract positive results. And it all starts with a thought in the mind. I'll show you the connection from a thought to your destiny or your future. Your positive thoughts influence your positive words. Your positive words influence your positive action. Your positive action influences your positive character. Your positive character influences your positive attitude. And a person with a positive attitude will definitely rise to a great altitude in life. I always put it like this. Your attitude will determine your altitude in life. And you as I said, are planted in great soil, in fertile soil, in the Delhi International School. There is no way that you are going to lack in any area. If you are only positive, if you have a positive mind and you think positively, you are definitely going to be successful in life. I'm going to show a little, share with you a little of my life and how I became successful in life. I grew up in a middle class family. We were five brothers and one sister. My father was the only earning member. So we seen very difficult days. And I was, sure, I was very sure and positive that I'm going to be a national champion one day. Although I had nothing to prove it. I, I didn't even have a proper 
sports t-shirt, a sports shorts, a sports shoe. But I had something in my mind that I knew one day I'm going to be a champion. And that one thing that was in my mind was this positive thought and this positive attitude of mine saying that I'm going to make it big one day. And it was the 15th August of one, one year when I was just about 13 years old. And there was a cycle race in my colony. And I was just 13. And when I, when I went to take part in this race, I didn't have a cycle. I didn't have a proper shorts. I didn't have proper t-shirt. But all I had was a positive thought. And when I went to the start line, the organizers came and told me that you cannot take part in this because you're too young. They told me that you will be a hindrance to the other others, uh, riders and you will not be able to keep up with them. So I literally requested them and said, allow me just to take part. So they allowed me to take part, giving me instructions that I stay right behind the bunch of riders and don't try to go ahead. So I agreed to that, but I actually broke that rule as soon as the race started. Because I straight away went ahead of the bunch and it was just a four kilometer race. And after half a kilometer, when I turned back, they were around 20 meters behind me. And this gap kept increasing till the, till the finish of the race. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because it doesn't matter what you have physically. It doesn't matter what you have materialistically. It matters what you have up in your mind there. And if you have it in your mind to be successful, there is only one person on this planet that can stop you. And that is you yourself. No one on this planet can stop you from being successful in life. The only one who can stop you is you yourself. And from that stage of not having a cycle, today we have more than 50 to 60 racing cycles. Each cycle costs 3 to 4 lakhs. And we give this free of cost to others. So if I can come from nothing to have this and be a part in somebody else's success, I think that's an achievement. Being successful in life is not only, is not only having for yourself. Being successful is having abundance for yourself and for somebody else, making somebody else's life, taking somebody else, being part of somebody else's success. success. And all this is possible just with a positive mind. And it's even more possible for all the students that study in this school because of the quality education, because of the quality facilities in sport, because of the overall development. This school is known for its integrity, its quality education, and its overall development. And that is why I consider it a privilege to be part of this function today and to be part of the Delhi International School. The, the programs, the acts of the children, the performance of the children speaks volumes of the management and the way they performed. All credit goes to the management, the teachers, the staff for such an excellent show. I would like to congratulate the management of Delhi International School, the teachers, the staff and all the students for such an excellent performance. And I have no doubt in my mind that one day we are going to have great, successful, outstanding future politicians, IES officers, IPS officers, and great other leaders from the Delhi International School. I once again congratulate every member of this school, and I thank each and every one of you for inviting me and giving me this honor to be part of this great Delhi International School. Thank you one and all. May I now request our chairperson Jyoti Ma'am to kindly present a memento to our, to our chief guest for the day, Mr. Maxwell Traverser, as a token of gratitude. We request Swati Ma'am and Shilpa Ma'am to accompany Jyoti Ma'am onto the stage.
We also request Ms. Rita and Ms. Smithy to... We welcome Mr. Maxwell Trevor, our chief guest, Jyoti Ma'am, guest of honor, Swati Ma'am, Shilpa Ma'am, and Upendra Ravi Sir onto the stage. We request Jyoti Ma'am to present a small memento to Maxwell Trevor Sir as a token of gratitude. for joining us today sir i know the parents are eagerly waiting for their children to perform on the stage so parents it's time get ready to dive into a world of creativity and wonder as our theme based event begins now join us for an unforgettable experience filled with innovation inspiration and a celebration of uniqueness from captivating discussions to thrilling activities. Immerse yourself in the magic of this theme. Let your imagination soar and be a part of an incredible journey that promises to spark curiosity and ignite passion. Embrace the theme, unleash your imagination and let the adventure begin. As is tradition at DIS, the cultural program is woven around a central theme this year, the school concert has two themes. The foundational year program for students of kindergarten to grade 2, aptly titled as Enchanted, Making Magic Happen. It's a journey into the mysterious, magical world of books. So prepare to dive into the world of books with characters coming alive and magical twists that will captivate, enthrall and bewitch you. The next theme that we have chosen for students of grade 3 and above is Time Travelers, a rendezvous with time. Without going into the intricacies or divulging the details of the plot, I will present you with a bird's eye view the gist of the theme. The opening scene is set much into the future where Delhi International School is upgraded to Delhi International University of Astrophysics, a university of international repute, a much sought out higher learning center, the favorite destination for all reunions, international conferences and seminars. The first alumni meet for astrophysics students was held at the university and the students, well experts now in the chosen field, have assembled to partake, brainstorm and exchange their viewpoints apart from catching up with each other's lives. Eight to nine world renowned alumni members hit it off instantly when they meet up at the reunion and there starts the thrust with time and the creation of a time machine. Dear parents, our kindergarten wing is the nurturing ground where young minds take their first steps into education's embrace. It's not just a physical space, it's the cradle of foundational learning, fostering social skills, creativity and curiosity. Ladies and gentlemen, here are our tiny thoughts with their hearts brimming with enthusiasm and twinkles in their eyes. They present their introduction to the world of rhythm and grace. So let's embrace their performance with a thunderous applause. For in their tiny steps, they carry the spirit of boundless curiosity and the promise of future brilliance. We say welcome to honorable guests. We say 
a jolly, jolly day. Hooray, hooray, hooray. What a happy, happy day. Hooray, hooray, hooray. What a jolly, jolly day. You came with lots of love for us. The joy, pleasure, and happiness. You came with lots of love for us With joy, pleasure and happiness You have come, you have come We say welcome to honorable guest We say welcome to honorable one We say welcome to honorable guest We say welcome to honorable one Welcome given by our Skywalkers and Mavericks of our reception and transition grades. Parents, shall we give a big round of applause to our tiny tots? Thank you, dear Skywalkers and Mavericks. Now let us start with the theme Enchanted. The children are playing hide and seek one of the oldest and most universal games, traces its roots across various cultures and eras. Its origin dates back thousands of years, a loud childhood game, which goes by various names like Luka Chupi, Dappa, I Spice, Chor Police, Chutu Putu, and many more. Then pull down. Yola! 
is done. Oh, it's a song. Look there. The pictures have come alive. Oh, she can't look down And I'll go 
Of course you can. Let's rush before the sky falls down. A chicken licker, Henny Lenny, Lyle Lyle the Crocodile, Ducky Lucky, Bunny Funny, and Goosey Lucy went down the road. Soon they met Badger Badger. Good morning, Chicken Licker. Where are you going? The sky is falling. We are going to tell the king. Can I come too? Of course you can. So Chicken Licker, Henny Lenny, Lyle Lyle the Crocodile, Ducky Lucky, Bunny Funny, Goosey Lucy and Badger Badger went on down the road. Soon they met Turkey Lucky. Good morning, Chicken Licken. Where are you going? The sky is falling. We are going to tell the king. Can I come too? Of course you can. So Chicken Licken, Henny Lenny, Lyle Lyle the Crocodile, Ducky Lucky, Bunny Funny, Goosey Lucy, Badger Badger and Turkey Lucky. They all went down off road. As they walked, they saw a fine gentleman came into view. He was smartly dressed with his bowler hat and was very well spoken. His name was Foxy Lucy. Good morning, Chicken Lucky. Where are you all going? The sky is falling. We are going to tell the king. How very foolish they all are. Jump. They will make fun dinner for me. <clears throat> My dear fine ladies and gentlemen, you are mighty fine people. I am so impressed that you want to save the world and everyone. Yes, indeed. The king must be told. But tell me, do you know the way to the palace? No, no, no. We do not know where the palace is. Can you help us? Of course. It will indeed be my pleasure. Come with me. I'll show you the way to the palace. Chicken Licken, Henny Lenny, 
लायली लायली डकी डकी बनी फनी गुजी लुजी बैज बैज एंड टर्की लड़की नेवर गॉट टू टेल द किंग दैट द स्काई वॉज फॉलिंग moral of the story is do not jump to conclusions without checking the real truth and do not blindly follow any person goodbye Les chats, 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 les chats
poison, terrier, rats, and rat catches. But, but not in worms. Help us get rid of this pest. I don't know what are we going to uh, call the town cleaners at once. Mayor is very angry and worried. He wants to see the town cleaners. Sorry, sorry. Does anyone have a new idea? There must be something we can do. Uh, mm, who is that? Hello, who are you? I am called the Pied Piper. I have been told that you have a rat menace in your town. I can help you. What will you pay me if I get rid of every single rat in Hamlin? Impossible! Can't be done! You are crazy! Okay, we shall pay you 20 gold coins. Preposterous! I demand 1000 gold coins. That's very expensive! <gasps> Way too much! That was a lot of money back then! And as much as the townspeople hated the rats, they still loved money. Finally, they agreed upon a sum. 500 gold coins. Then it's a deal. But mind thee, not a single rat is to be seen in town. The Pied Piper immediately stepped out of the hall and lifted a golden pipe to his lips. He began to play a haunting and sickly tune and a strange thing began to happen.
now you have learnt your lesson yes i must keep my promises you are a citizen of our town you may come and go as you please hurray and thus happiness returned back to the town of hamlin the moral of the story is never be ungrateful the people of hamlin learned never to be ungrateful and greedy if you listen closely it is said that you can still hear the piper's beautiful tune playing an incredible and enchanting performance by our students of kindergarten and primary wing once again let us give them a big round of applause for our tiny tots <laughs>